Oh, you guys, you should know way in advance. If you intend to play in half scale world, you gotta be prepared for the box. Because, sincerely, look at scale and how enormously crazy this box is. So, yeah, I've always wanted this piece. My buddy Daniel had the opportunity for me to get it, so I did. All right, you guys. We are already just straight in the unboxing because it was just easier to do it because this is so big and bulky and heavy, but here we go, here we have, this is the bottom layer and what's inside is just Jason Momoa, Aquaman, and his hand holding the trident. Now, let's kind of fly down, kind of take a look. Oh, so the green armor of the suit. It's kind of fucking amazing. A uh, giant cod package. And then so you go up. The vibrancy and the scales. Kind of insane now. You know, I prefer the Justice League Aquaman suit, but there really isn't any other better option for a Jason Momoa. And I'm a fan of Momoa ever since freaking Stargate Atlantis. That's like my favorite show. And he was in it. And so... I'm looking at this portrait and you know a lot of people do say that this is spot on and I would say it is it's just something that I can't put my finger on I mean it's very much you know it's who he is but something just looks slightly not quite sure how to explain it but regardless I'm not uh saying that I'm unhappy with it in any way, shape, or form. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, what I really like about this is that, yes, it's Jason Momoa and Aquaman, but it also really, really, really reminds me of Ronan Dex from Stargate Atlantis, and that makes me very happy. Like the rooted hair, it's punched in, and the beard. So the likeness is freaking pretty damn good. Pretty damn good, 90, 95%. Um, the thing that, you gotta remember, this is an older piece. So, this thing by this point has been around for around like, three, four, or five years maybe because it's one of Queen Studio's earlier pieces in one of their earlier attempts at silicone. It was their first half scale DC piece. So, the silicone over time, uh, like there's a little bit of pink schmutz over here, and that's just from handling over time. But I think you can kind of, once you get them out of the box and you, style the hair a bit you can kind of hide that hairline but the silicone itself I mean it's so lifelike but it does kind of make me almost feel like he's sweating a little which I think depending on like the J&B silicone doesn't do it this way right um, it, it depends sometimes you can kind of see it on depending on the weather that it might kind of sweat a little as well but yeah this is just how different kinds of silicone by different manufacturers but regardless this is kind of a piece like I've always wanted but never really thought I would bother to get or whatever but thanks to my friend Daniel for hooking it up and for giving me the opportunity and being a buddy and uh, just saying oh we've it's just been good this is this is awesome so thank you Daniel for basically making this happen for me it's yeah can't thank you enough I'm pretty damn happy with it um yeah isn't that insane? All right, we're gonna move this out of the way and then we're gonna go to the next layer. Hang on, I straight up forgot. So this is the bottom half of Trident. It is actually pretty freaking heavy. Um, very nice markings on it. And then here you have the beautiful suit in the hand just freaking gorgeous right this is a very beautiful 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 piece so yeah that's what that looks like all right guys i don't know if you can tell the scope of how big this damn box is but when you're playing half skills you <laughs> you kind of need to be ready for what it comes with so anyway um this is the top layer I uh, did this in reverse, but here we have the beautiful, beautiful base that I really like. 
because it's got like this water effect. We'll take a close up lately, shortly. Um, you've got your branches. You've got your other half of the trident. And you have your Queen Studios makeup brush and your kit for your um, gloves for handling the silicone, which you should use, but they're just so beautiful and I, I'm a little tempted to to not use it. So, the branches are kind of like whatever, you know? The branches, there's nothing too fancy to write home about with the paint or whatever, so they're there. No worries there. Here we have another branch piece. Pretty standard fare is the other one. Yeah, there you go. And then here we have um, some of these like foliage things, but these feel kind of like plasticky. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna use these. These just seem, should seem a little stupid dumb to me. Like, you know? Uh, I can see the, I can see the branch, but uh, these, these leaves seem like it's. You know what? Fuck it! I don't think I'm gonna waste my time putting it on there. That's just me. But they are there for you, regardless. Lastly, we have the trident. Now the trident looks really good. I love the markings. I look at the Atlantean markings and inscription on Trident. Um, it is gorgeous. However, I did get unlucky and my buddy came with a break and I just glued him back. Um, so, and honestly, I didn't line it up quite exact. It was like a millimeter off. And I need to fill resin over here. But it was a yeah, what it is is this thing is just slightly too wide for that styrofoam, so I need impact. It snapped, so that's what happened. Um, I am gonna get some paint that matches and then just clear, clear, clear it over so you can see what it is. But it is a beautiful thing. So, all right, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, when you deal with half scale, you're really just dealing with size, weight, and dealing with it. So. Actually, let's go handheld and let's go look at the base real quick. Now, I do love the way they apply clear resin on top. So it looks like, it feels like you're tapping on a glass layer, but this is resin, clear resin. So it creates that water-like effect. And I think this is probably one of the best bases that Queen has ever done. I love the way they create a watery effect. Like he's standing on the ocean floor kind of thing and that's good job on Queen for this. Very very well done. Just beautiful. Alright one other thing left to highlight I had to toss the bag and have to replace it but you also get the means instructions that tells you about silicone and the type of silicone they use and how it works. So remember this is one of Queen's earlier earlier pieces. Like one of their early early silicone pieces so definitely it's a material introduction tells you stuff about it that you would not have known and this is a certificate minus number 312 out of 666 and this was why I went back in and why I got this this is made out of 666. This is, like I said, one of Queen's earliest, earliest pieces. You're, they don't operate this way anymore. You're never gonna find this ever again. And so, um, opportunity came up and uh, yeah, I went for it. And this is back when like the plaque had the Queen Studios logo on it, so. All right, let's put this together. Just two keys on the back of the rock. So that and that. And then took two of the flowers out. 
there. There's more, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, this is the biggest piece I own to date. And I talked to my buddy because he's, he's a good friend. And see this? I'm not gonna touch it because I don't know how to handle it. But the issue with that—that's really bad. Um, and he did before and after pictures, guys. This got wrecked during shipping. I don't know how it happened. Uh, maybe the excessive heat from sitting in truck. I don't know what happened that the paint melted or, or what. So this is going to be a shipping claim now. This is, well, obviously I didn't think my friend would do anything, right? But this is now a shipping claim because this is what likely happened is probably sat in the truck for too many hours, too many days, and I forgot it's been a really hot week and there's the silicone. So, yeah, I don't know what that is. Can't repair it now, I don't know how to do it. And even if you did, you kind of need to know how to handle silicone, so that's kind of a bummer. All right, you guys, this is a piece I've always wanted. So glad it's finally in my collection. And we're just, just glad I finally was able to get it, you know, just, I've always wanted this and That, not my friend's fault. That, that is a UPS thing. Or, bad luck with the draw, in a really excessively hot summer week of heat in the United States and this could have been from just sitting in the truck too long for too many days. I have no idea, but I obviously am not going to touch it myself because it's, it's a very delicate... This is the first time I've ever seen an issue with silicone, ever. And I don't know quite how to deal with it now. Bummer that it happened. But all in all though, I'm still glad to have this. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, the other thing too is this is... A lot bigger than I thought it was going to be the base. I don't know why, but where I thought I was going to fit it, I can't. So I have to think of something else. So, anyway, um, yeah. Thanks for checking this out. Possible like, subscribe to me, go away. We'll see you guys in the next video.